Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to show you how my students use tempera cakes in our classroom. And I'm going to demonstrate to you all the techniques and the proper cleanup positions and the proper paint positions. To get into the proper paint position, we take our tray and we're going to slide the blue tray on top of the line that's drawn on the table. The line is between the two chairs. So we take the tray, slide it down, and place it directly on top of the line. The blue tray should come right to the edge of the table, between the two chairs. Then we take the yellow tray and we place that above the blue tray on the table. If you look, it'll make it almost looks like a snowman where we have two circles. The larger circles near the edge of our chair and table. And then we have the smaller circle above. That's the proper paint position. Now we're ready to go and get our water. When we fill the water, we fill it just below the line in the dish. We don't need a lot of water. Excellent job. And we go to the closest sink to our tables. So if we're on this side of the room, we're gonna go to the sink that's near my windows. And the other side of the room uses my other sink. This is where you place your water dish. You place it above your pitcher, so it's comfortable to reach, and you place it close, close enough to these paints here. You don't wanna place it on this side of the desk, because then you'll be bringing your brush across your art paper. And you do not want to place your bowl at the very bottom of your table, because look how close it is to your chair. If you were to spill this water, it would probably land right here in your lap. So that's why we do not place our water dish near our painting at the bottom of the table. When we're working, our elbow could spill the water. So this is the proper paint position. The blue tray between the two kids. They each have their own water bowl and then the colors are in front of them. So when they want to use a color, they just simply spin the tray so it's closer to them and that way they can see the color. Wash the brush carefully and then we touch the edge of the dish with a little kiss. Now we're ready to swirl it gently into the color. You swirl gently into the color and then the brush will pick up the paint. When the brush picks up the paint, then you're ready to paint. If you hold the brush straight up like a soldier, you will get skinny lines, just like that. Try some skinny lines. You don't have to press the brush really hard on the paper to get the skinny lines. Great job. After we draw the shape, we can fill in like this boy's doing. Back and forth, filling in smoothly. And are you five years old? Yeah. Five years old. If it gets really dark and muddy like this, we could even change our water. And then we touch the edge of the dish gently with a kiss. Perfect. Yeah, if we don't wash our brush good enough, look what happens. Start stirring. Okay, pull your hand out. You can see blue. You can see a little bit of other color. That tells our brain, I can't do this anymore. I need to wash my brush more. So wash your brush some more before you go back into that brown paint. Once, if you start dirtying the paint, that tells your brain, uh-oh, I didn't clean my brush good enough. So now I need to wash my brush better before I go back into You need color. the same color. This girl's been using yellow, and she needs more of that yellow. So what she does is she barely touches the water. It's just like a little kiss of water, we call it. And then she goes back in the same color. You see how she didn't have to wash that brush? You don't wash the brush if you're going back in the same color. It saves time this way. And then she goes and applies it to her picture, just like that. 
we always want to keep our paint in the tray. Please don't take the paint out of the tray like that. Your paint should be kept inside the tray like this. So when we use our paint, we go to the paint. We never wanna leave our brush in the water like here. We wanna keep our brush for storing it, we just keep it on the table. The wet brush is not gonna hurt the table. So let's take it out and we touch, and then we just store it on the table. That way you have more, better access to the color. And then we take our turns if we need to spin the tray as we are using the color. So if we need the color, we take our turn and then we can spin our tray, spin the tray closer to us, exactly. Before you go into the yellow, you always wanna make sure that you have a clean brush and clean water. Yellow or any light value color. I'll show you what happens if you don't wash your brush properly. What happens is you end up getting the other colors onto the paint and that will stay. So always wash your brush properly and have clean water when you go into yellow or any other light paints color. Paints should stay nice and clean. If you dirty the paints, then you can take a paper towel and just wipe out the dirt, the dirty color. Or you can just wet the color with your brush and remove it that way. This is what proper cleanup looks like. The paint brushes are placed to the right of the table number and the trays of paint are stacked and placed next to the paintbrush. Both are to the right of the table number so that they are away from the textbooks and other art materials. We want the wet paint brushes to not come in contact with the textbooks as well as the paint area, paint trays.